Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I am wearing Caliente by Belle Tress in the color Mocha with Cream. So, Caliente, her wave pattern and this beautiful dynamic color, she is definitely Caliente, muy caliente. She is hot. I love her. I love the waves. I love the color distribution of this one, and I'm gonna show you my Bellissima and kind of compare the way they distributed the color on that one with this one. And so let's just jump right in to the color. So this is my Bellissima, same color, and you can see the similarities, but at the same time, this one looks more like a brunette. It looks a lot darker, and this one to me looks more like a blonde with a dark root. So. The rooting that they did on my Bellissima, as you can see, it's got a longer root on it. So it's got more of a distribution of that dark brown, what I actually call black. I mean, it just looks black to me, uh, that root. And this one, as you can see, it's not nearly as long. So other, you know, comparisons of the color, you can see the different colors that you see in this one, but I don't know, they, they accented the blonde. So it's described as a light ash brown with a, some, some caramel brown in there as well and a honey blonde highlight. But there's so much going on and I had pointed that out when I reviewed the Bellissima that I almost, every once in a while I saw a strand that almost looked like a platinum blonde in it. So just very dynamic color. You can see the lighter brown as you go away from the rooting. The rooting, of course, is that dark root that I consider to be almost black, very dark brown. Um, and then you can see that blonde going all through those waves in the different highlights. So that's your honey blonde. I almost see like a strawberry blonde in there too. It just has a lot going on. It's a very pretty color and I'm looking forward to wearing it for this summer. So let's talk about the cap construction while well, I've got Bellissima here. Her cap is exactly the same as Caliente. So just to save time and, and for the ease of things, I will just show you the inside of her cap. So she has a temple to temple lace front, goes from ear tab to ear tab, mono part, Closed lace up here on the top, no permatees, low density on all these Beltress wigs. Open wefting in the cap for coolness and comfort. An extended velvet nape. She's got these um, adjusters that have the little, um, it's an elastic piece with a little metal, you know, thing that you pull it through there. I'm not a seamstress, I don't know what that's called, but um, those type of adjusters. And those are great, they, st they stay in place really well when you make your adjustment. So, um, but very nice, very good, you know, cap construction, very comfortable for these warmer months as it begins to heat up. So her lace front, I'll show that to you. The lace itself is a good color. The lace is a flesh color, matches my skin perfectly, but the knotting because of the dark roots is very visible. That's one thing about these Beltress wigs that might not be your thing. It doesn't bother me that much. I'm kind of past the whole, can people tell it's a wig or not? I mean, your alternative with me is my bald head. So yeah, it's a wig. I have alopecia, let's move on. You know, it just doesn't bother me that much. So, but if you're new to wig wearing, I was more sensitive to it when I was new to wig wearing. It was very strange for me. You know, it's just something I want you to note about. So ear tabs on this. Ear tabs are pretty good, although when I pull it back in a, in a you know, clip back here in the back, I have to be very conscientious of that they're, make sure they're staying flush up against my head. They only have a little thin piece of wire in there. So as you can see, they're a little on the flimsy side. I, this one's better than this one, but um, something to note, just when you're pulling her back, you know, in a, um, with a clip in the back, just push those ear, you know, make sure they're flush against your head. I don't think they're gonna be flapping up or anything like that when, once you have it pulled back, but you just wanna make sure you don't pull it back so hard that you lift it, you know? That's gonna be pretty obvious. That, you know, you're gonna see that and push it down, but just be conscientious of that. Um, but other, other than that, I like the way, you know, they fit well above my ear 
and I think that your tabs are good. I just find that the wire that they put in there is a, a little wimpy, so makes them a little more flimsy. Okay, so I will do a turn so you can see her color and her waves all the way around. So here's my right side, very pretty. The back, my left side, really pretty. And you can see it kind of um, gets a little longer here in the front, really cool. And back to the front. So what have I been doing with her? I have been doing a lot of different styles on her. So as I mentioned, she can be clipped back like this and she's, I wore her like this yesterday and she's so pretty like this. I really liked it, I thought it was very pretty. And I just pulled down a little bit of this front cause I figured it was gonna wanna pull down. But look at that pretty little wave there at the front. I really like that, very cute. I got a little bump, little bubble in it right there. But um, you know, I would do a better job if I was doing it in the mirror, but I'm just doing this for time's sake, you know, and you can see those ear tabs are pretty good. I didn't pull it so hard that it pulled it up, but, and it's not gonna, you know, pop up or anything. So, so I'll show you the side of that. Looks really pretty. And then of course, you can always just use your tiny claw clip. Now, um, one thing I noted when I was playing around with the tiny claw clip is I don't wanna pull it back like this because you can see that nodding, it's pretty obvious. Now, if you don't care, then pull it back like that. It's your wig, you can do whatever you want. But the way I was doing it was I was kind of pulling it more down to the side so that I still have that coverage of this little, um, you know, this little wave right here. Just makes it quite not as obvious, you know, just pulling it back in a bump where you can really see those knots. So, and then of course you could do your little, you know, shiny clips and things like that. There's, there's a, it's got some versatility to it. Now, it has the ability with its measurements to be pulled back in a ponytail, and I'll get to the measurements in just a second. But these are heat-friendly fibers, so that is not something that I will be doing. I'm afraid that that elastic on these heat-friendly fibers is going to cause them to clump and mess up those fibers quicker. So, it, you know, as you can see, lengthwise, it has the ability to be pulled back. It does well as, you know, it's it's low density, so you can tuck it behind your ears if you want to. That would be something I would probably only do just to get it out of my face if I was reading or whatever, you know, I just needed to get it out of the face temporarily. I don't think I would wear it like that so much, um, just because those waves kind of stick out behind my ears and I don't personally like that that much. So measurements on her are the sides are seven inches. The nape measurement back here is five inches. The back, back here from the top down, is 12 inches. And overall, they give her a measurement of five inches to 12 inches. She's got layers, she's got different, um, you know, different layering, different lengths going all through her that just give her this really pretty low density wave pattern. The height that you're seeing up here is just from the waves. It is not from permatease. I don't feel any permatease personally not even on the wefting I mean I'm really giving her a good feel for y'all here I don't feel any in there so I think she's a really really cute style now she is heat friendly fiber so these HD fibers are you have to be a little more gentle with them they need a little more TLC they will clump easier. They have a super fine denure, just like real hair does, which makes them realistic. They're less shiny. They look more like real hair, which is so fun and so great. However, these ends will clump a lot easier. So when I remove her every day, I am going to gently, with my wide tooth comb, comb her out very carefully, not, you know, just, carefully, gently, and I'm going to spray her ends with my Restore Spray from Hair You Wear. I like that spray. It's a very light conditioning spray, and I find that it doesn't build up a lot on the hair, but I do feel like it's protecting the ends on my Simmer Wig that I reviewed a few weeks back. So, so far I'm getting pretty good results with it. These wavy patterns do hide the clumping more, which I like. But, and I like her length because I have a four inch neck, eight inch face, I have a 21 inch circumference. And 
she so she's not gonna be brushing collars very much I'm gonna wear her a lot in the summer because she looks like I have my hair highlighted and I tend to wear the darker colors in the winter time so She's gonna be a summer wig. I think she's gonna be a good wig for the summer because she's not gonna get as much wear and as much rubbing. But you know, as soon as I start to see those little areas, you can use a hot air brush and get those out. There's videos about how to care for those um, all on YouTube and I'll let you refer to those for you know more care from hairdressers and people who have more knowledge about the fibers. But um, you know, they can be they just need a little extra TLC so nothing to scare you away from them this is heat friendly so you can curl it by using 350 uh, degrees or less with a curling iron or a flat iron however remember when you change that style these fibers have memory of the new style where that you changed it to so if you take your flat iron and you go through and you take all these waves out and then you wash it and you think it's gonna be wavy again no, it's not gonna be wavy again until you curl it and put those waves back in it. This is why I don't really mess with heat on these wigs, me personally. I'm a wimp. I don't wanna mess up my wigs. I order the wig because I like the way they styled it, so I just leave it at that. But you know, you can do whatever you want to with it. That's up to you, whatever, whatever your preference is. So this has been Caliente by Belle Tress. If you like my reviews and you want me to keep on bringing them to YouTube, please like and subscribe below and that will tell me that you want me to keep doing reviews. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Have a great day, bye.